Hello and welcome to Sandomorski Oculus. Now I'm not sure if that's right for Farming Simulator 19. I'm UK Gamer 808 and I'll be taking you on this first look map tour of Sandomorski Oculus map which is out in the Farming Simulator Mod Hub. It came out on the 11th of March so I'm a little bit behind on doing this one. It slipped my radar a little bit. Now this map was made by Dragon X and Zylac04. Now there's a lot of items to see on this map and it is quite huge on download. So in the when I downloaded this I was on I needed about 12% of the available memory just for that this map alone, which is uh, crazy really. Anyway, let's go into the map overview of Sir Dom's Sandomorski Oculus. I'll tell you what, I'm struggling with that one, really am. Anyway, that is the map overview. So that is the map overall, and you see it is a large map. We've used the full extent of the map, and it does seem very large, because it is large. We start off down here. This is our main farm area, just here. And then we've got the biogas and various other cell points dotted around, and we will do a map tour on showing you all these different places. Now we've got another farmyard down there, which has got the horses. Then that one has the pigs. Then we go up to here, a couple more different cell points. We've got a nice little island over here with a load of trees going on, making a lot of money over there. And then we come over to the chickens over here as well. And then we've got the sheep over here. And more cell points at the top. And you see the um, lots of fields, crazy amount of fields and meadows. So starting off, this is what we own, field number 93. Now you do own this section around the back of the farm. So there's a, there's a you can do a lot of extended on this farm especially on this bit here it's nice and flat and then we own these two other fields down there as well now the cost of biogas is cheap 4624 so i think we can afford to buy that one cost of the other fields not too bad 33,000 and some of these bigger ones are like 100,000 getting quite a big area there 90 92,000 109 and you can see there they're not too bad but you're not getting a lot of land well that's quite expensive there 254 these trees over here are 173,000 and there is a there's the road there but it has got a fall so you can drive through it hasn't got any bridges or anything but you can get to it no issues then the top end here 77,000 so yeah not too badly priced so going to the selling points and you can see we've got quite a few and they're all in polish which doesn't help things but there you go that's why i'm here for i'm going to show you what they are so we will go through all of these now the prices of things you can see the prices of eggs there they're all at six thousand that's absolutely crazy amount of money uh, biogas is your normal money at 360 on your silage and same on your manure so not huge amounts of money but um everything else is well those those eggs that was crazy i can't believe it's at six and a half thousand pounds on the ones nearly six thousand six hundred that's a uh, mad now we this is on normal settings we have three main sell points which take all your main commodities and you see we've got soybeans there at 1300 1100 and 1200 and wheat is a little bit low but you know it's the start of the map they can soon start climbing up so we have these other ones as well so that one there we have three different egg cell points we've only got one milk cell point and we've got two spinneries on this one as well we've got the the walnut knee is spinnery basically in polish for those who don't know and there's the other one just there so quite a few places to have a look at. Now we go over contracts, we have contracting and there is some transport missions in there as well. There's a couple of them ready to go. So that's your lot for the main part of the map really. It's, uh, it is big, so let's get out there and have a look around. Right, so we put the mini map on and we're starting off. Now this one hasn't got a farmhouse. 
So it's got these farmhouses on each one of the farms, but you can't actually sleep. There's no sleep trigger and it's not on the map or anything here. So uh, yeah, you're not doing anything. So you have to get your own farmhouse or put a sleep trigger there or something like that, whatever you want to do. So we're starting off and we've got the quite a big open yard area. Now it's half past nine and some of the lighting is a little bit dull. You can see on that side there, I think sometimes it's uh, hard to get it just right anyway. Anyhow, so here we have our cow shed, which is one of the in-game ones, just there. We, we've all seen these ones, and I thought that opened. <laughs> Anyhow, so coming over this side, and um, we have some storage sheds on the over this side here. We've got the wooden ones. Now, I've seen quite a few lights, but same, I haven't found any switches, so I'm not sure if they're automatic or not on them. And then we've got all these other sheds over this side for loads and loads of storage and equipment. You've got quite a bit of equipment to start off with. Plenty for going on with anyway. It's probably one of the most amount of equipments you start off with on most maps. There's a lot of them. You only get a few items. But this one you get a lot more. So we'll go into that shortly when we go and delete all the, the slots. Right, I nearly forgot to add this and starting off we have an armor track the t5 the bison and then a couple of trailers header plow cultivator cedars and you can see we've got quite a bit of kit manure spreader loads and loads of kit and then we also got large cow pastures and all the other there's the four grain silos so there's a lot now look at the slot slot count it's 879 so let's delete everything and see what we've got and with everything deleted, it's 682 slots out of 1,299, which is uh, quite high, but it is what it is. So coming around the back, we've got the fuel station just there, and then more storage, and then we've got these more short storage sheds out the back over that way as well, and then our silo bang in the middle just there. But we have got, it is, got gates on most of these areas which is uh, quite nice but you actually own this field here as well so you own all this land and land out the back there in that field there so good getting on with on that's on new farmer mode right we have a nice little trees little forestry set up over the other side and we do have planes flying over well we will see them again where's he gone yeah, there he is, there's a biplane mod uh, buzzing over. So let's start on this map tour of Sedomorski Oculus. Right, so we're coming up to the road here and this is set with three different villages basically. It is more to real life what they're saying. Whoa. And yeah, let's try and get into the gate. We turn left into here, and this is our sheep farm. So we've got loads of storage sheds. You can see I haven't been over here and opened up any of these sheds yet. But there's huge amounts of storage on this map. Now these are all built into the map as well. We've got a ladder going up. Can we get up there? Yep, and it has got a attic. Go in there, is that all open? Oh, there's separate sheds. Is that a separate shed? That's a separate one as well, yeah. It is. So, another fuel station. There's loads of fuel stations dotted around everywhere. You can see that's one of the other farmhouses, but same again, we've got no sleep trigger or anything there. It's not a house. It's just a decorative object, which is, uh, would have been nice if there was a sleep trigger there. So we're going out the back here and this is where the sheep enclosure is just like that we've seen these before and then we've got our silo out the back and then you've got this track running down the the back side of the um, farm so that's the farm two right then we'll head our way north up the map Now, overall detailing of this map, bloody awesome, really nice. 
really is nice and we come up to our first sell point and yeah we've seen these guys before anyway so this is the Grossick and basically this one is for eggs and then we're gonna head our way just out of this village now and you see over on the left hand side that's where we're heading towards but a lot of traffic and there's quite a few um, people walking around there's a there's a lot is it's dotted in certain places I'll show you that as we go in so driving into here now so we have the first spinnery is this drop-off just there then we have a lime station buy point where there's quite a few lime station buy points on the map and then we have our drop off now this one is called the agrophil skip scup which is basically translated as shop and that is one of your main um, selling points they take most of your commodities well all your wheat barley and main everything else right then we head our way up the map because we do have some different two different wood chip points and I think I might be cheeky and we just spin a right instead of following the road because uh, we've got a lot to go through and as you can see there's not many um, hedges so you can just drive straight the way across the map if you want to got a few of the uh, turbines set up and let's get back on the road so we actually drive into the place on the road and the next one is the producent platey osb it looks like a cuckoo so this is basically wood chips you can drop wood chips here and there it is there but all this it's all pretty new I've never seen any of these buildings before and looks fantastic and a lot of trees over that side as well easy money making uh, wood chips do the wood chips there sell them at the OSB right then the next one we want to go down to I'll tell you what we want to let's head our way around down this way because the next cell points are a little bit of a little bit of a trek away so we come down past we've got this nice lake area and let's be a bit cheeky and go in that way and we've got a bit of a camping setup just over here oh sorry straight through them get back out onto that track so a nice little forestry area more forest over on the right hand side there as well and what I did like on this part of the lake down here we've got a couple of boats let's take a quick drive over there is he static that one yeah he is static But there's the island over there as well. We've got all the trees, plenty of money to be uh, out there. Loads of money, money to be made. And like I said, we've got a little fords to go through so you don't have to worry about any bridges or what have you. Let's put these mini map back on. Right, so we're coming down towards the sawmill now which is just situated here and this is a nice setup then a cracking job so the wood sell point is just there and then we can also sell wood chips over here as well lots of trees around here so easy money drag them in sell them make your money pretty cool then we go across the other side 
and the way I think yeah is the way in just here I haven't been up to this one yet so this one is the other sprinary sow point which is drop off for that just there and then we go over around here we've got another lime station see that on the map there and then we have our this is the second place for main selling of your commodities which is named the same again this thing is all over the top of each other Zibor or something like that but that is it there Uh, nice building good job on that you got two different cell points built into the same building one out the front one out the back pretty cool right so now we want to head over straight over that way oh I'm going the right way, aren't I? Yes, we've got another cell point down on the left-hand side. The trouble with this map, it's uh, trying to get where... It, most of the time, it's nice to drive round in a circle, and then you can sort of pick everything up, but this one's a bit different. So we're coming up to our next cell point, which is just here and this one is the yeah the grizzka the grizzka ka oh, I don't bloody know but that is another one of the egg cell points basically and then we have a fuel station just there which is a proper proper fuel station not just a tank there so I do like a lot of these buildings, there's uh, quite a few tractors parked outside uh, different houses. Now going down to the farm, we go back down here and where they've just spanned down that road there. And this is the other f farm area. I'm not going to even mess around if it's going to get stuck there. So, still the same again, we've got another house, and down here we have the chickens, absolutely loads of storage again, so you're not going to need any storage sheds whatsoever, as they are dotted around. Pretty cool. And then more storage sheds over here. Loads and loads of storage. And then we have our chickens, which they put there. And then we have a silo. So we do have, I think it's four silos all, all in all. So there's quite a few. Right, well now we will head down towards the shop area. Oh. And I'll tell you what, I've had a look round on this map and already I still having trouble. God, he was flying. Where'd he go? He went straight over, I think. I can't believe the speed of him. He was, he was in and out, gone. Anyhow, moving on to the shop area, which we got our workshop trigger just situated there. Looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Something different. And then the shop buying, better click onto it just in case, haven't we? And the workshop trigger, where's the trigger gone? There it is. Workshop trigger, yep, you can customise and repair, blah, 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 just there. It would be nice if some of these buildings were open, though. Especially at the shop, so you could leave a... Oh, I didn't see the deer there. We've got a deer up on the ramp. Pretty cool. So that's the shop. And then next, we're heading off down to the Animal Dealer, which is situated just over there. And we've got the other cell point, which I can't pronounce. Which means Animal Dealer. 
so to buy the animals you actually just come straight into this shed here and click on and there it is and you see we have got the five different enclosures and pastures and then this is the other sell point the Yukran Miak or something like that anyway which is basically there's a barn sell point it's just there and they do your silage and your straw and what have you just there and then the other one is here for your main commodities which is pronounced the same it's the yeah it's that one there that's what it is just there there it is I can't pronounce any of these anyhow so that's your animal dealer your barn area and your main commodity sell point so now we head our way back out and we're going to have a look at biogas now the biogas oh it's letting pass let's have a look on a bloody map again I'm getting a yeah we want to head down this way and then switch that's it swinging left and we're there the, now these roads are pretty thin you've got to be careful let's close those doors I think it was down here yeah this will take us the way but nice open feel to this map as well look how far around you can see pretty awesome a few little humps here and there not a completely flat map the terrain is all over the place and here we go into the biogas plant so we've got a nice ramp for going up so we're going to be dropping that straight into there no issues with that and then our digestate cell point there a different way out and then a couple of large bunker silos bit of a rustic feel to it a bit of a worn it's been here for a while right so we're heading our way out and we've got a few more points of interest to show you so I think we'll go let's be a bit naughty and just cut straight away across here because yeah we need to get over to those buildings over that way so uh, let's do that and I've seen a plane there he is I thought the amount of times when I was having a look around we'll uh, come across him but I haven't come across him yet it's typical isn't it anyhow moving on to the next cell point which is milk cell point and we bring that up and it's the Melek yeah the yeah it's that one there see see the green thing flashing it's that one that's what cell point this one is just here oh let's get come on get out of the way then right so that's your dairy station basically then and then we head our way put the map on because we want to go back over this way back whoop whoop back up to our other farm area so this is the one of the other little villages and we've got a couple of backhoes down there looks pretty cool and we head our way up this way and where's the turn off for it that was it there wasn't it yeah they're sort of hidden around the back I haven't been to this one yet either so this is where I think the pigs are isn't it yeah it looks to be pigs I do wish 
for a console if we could just automatically open them it does say in the uh, mod hub that you can open them with the mouse but obviously not on console you're not so here's the pigs area which uh, yeah that's squeezed in there it really is and then we come on round and we have our silo even more storage loads and loads of garages oh I did come in I come in the other way I thought I hadn't been to this one but no I have uh, nice looking building and the quality of all these buildings looks fantastic it really does it's, it gives you that sort of new map feel it really does because everything isn't the same old it's all a bit different all a bit new it's probably why it's more on the um, memory and we don't want to be going that way we need to be going down that way right then we have our next cell point that one there which is the sleep or sclip ABC is what it's called and that one does your what was it egg cell point so that is your other egg cell point because there's three of them and then moving our way down this way we come to our last farm area what's got the horses same thing again loads of storage sheds we've got a silo in here as well nice looking house down, down there and we come to the back and you've got the lake in the backdrop there which is pretty cool and there's the horse in closure and at least you can drive in drive out I suppose with this little road on the side that's pretty cool right then moving on and we have our other lime station which I've just missed the turn off there plenty of trees around this area as well to clear out and it's basically a lime yard and they've got plenty of lime in here so that is the pickup for it just there so that is Sadom Marski Oculus and oh all in all pretty nice looking map I just like that these maps you can look around you see all those buildings in the distance sometimes you can't see all that where it has got a little bit of terrain here and there well that is your map tour for Sadomarski Oculus Sadomarski Oculus or something like that you're probably taking a piss going what what is he saying but we all know what I'm trying to say that's the main thing isn't it Right oh well if you've enjoyed this first look map tour of the Sadomorski Oculus then don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you are new to the channel why not go and check out one of my Farming Simulator 19 videos got tons to choose from absolutely loads over 700 now the subscriber count is going mental at the moment where it looks like we're going to hit 1500 subscribers very soon so if you've enjoyed it hit that subscribe button thanks for watching and i will see you next time